Hello, my name is Patrick Cashman, Site Manager here at RSBB Winterbourne Downs. It's really nice here in midsummer, and as I know that many of you haven't been able to get out as much as you would like, uh, I thought I'd share a quick video update to try and capture a little of the colour of the flowers and butterflies that are showing so well at the moment. But before I do that, many of you may be thinking, well, how are the stone curlies doing at Winterbourne Downs? Oh, good question. Well, we've had our best year yet. We've had seven nesting pairs on our eight plots. And as I speak in late July, they have successfully fledged nine young. And we do hope to be in double figures before long. Anyway, if you're sitting comfortably, I'll take you for a quick flight through the flowers. In the foreground we have the pale pink of the wild marjoram and above that in place we have the purple of the greater lapweed, the chalk cousin of the black or common lapweed. Then we go here, oh I've got to get this nice one here. This is rough hawkbit, cousin of the dandelion. And these fluffs of yellow are Lady's bed straw, the cheeky head of the sand in the foreground. But perhaps you can't see close up, but there's lots of them. A sea of pastel blue, which is the small scabious. See if I can zoom in on that. Small scabious. grasslands are quite extensive. We've created over 200 hectares on former croplands at Darsby Winterbourne Downs to give insect-rich foraging grounds for the stone curlews and other birds. There's more about birds here. The chalk grasslands are brimming with wildflowers and brimming with insects. Some of those are quite rare butterflies, but here we come to the clustered bellflower. Quite a jewel in our grasslands. One of the pioneers of our developing chalk flora in our new grasslands is the kidney vetch seen here. This also happens to be the caterpillar food plant of the small blue butterfly. This happy coincidence has allowed this butterfly to spread right through our grasslands and now has a population which must be in its hundreds if not thousands. Another downland butterfly that has found our grasslands is the marsh fritillary. This caterpillar is in search of small scabious leaves for lunch. Larval webs were seen in several places across the reserve this spring and hopefully it is now well established on the reserve and the adults with their livery of black latticework and ochre and custard will be a regular sight here in the future. This is one of our chalk butterfly banks, created to provide warm conditions on south facing slopes with sheltered bays and the north face to cool off for the butterflies. Our volunteers, as you can see, have planted up with many chalk specialist plants which the butterflies lay their eggs. Let's have a look around.
yes, I can hear the raven too. And here is some harebell on the right. Clumps of wild thyme. More small scabious. And I shall find some horseshoe fetch and flower. Here's the horseshoe fetch. Just zoom in if I can. Yes, this is the food plant of the Adonis Blue and the Chalk Hill Blue. undertaking to try and attract another species of butterfly to the reserve. For the last two years our warden Nikki Quinn has mown reserve grassland to help develop a festy rich short sward in the aim to attract a silver spotted skipper and the silver spotted skipper lives over the hedgerow on Porton Down, a real treasure trove for chalk down and biodiversity. Now the skipper also likes bare ground to bask in. So one of our volunteers came last week and has created a series of divots, bare areas for the butterflies to bask in. So hopefully it's now just a matter of time before this area becomes a new home for the silver spotted skipper. And if you'd like to take nature's pulse by recording butterflies on your local patch, then why not visit this website for further information. <laughs>